Okay, I'm reloaded. Big guy Pacino here. Yeah. This is not a show and tell series. This is going to be a Corvette showcase. We're going to say it's version, uh, version two or reloaded because it'll be the second one I've done, but it's going to be definitely a better version because the lighting was not good on the first one that I did back in the past. So those issues have been rectified. So, let me see some cars. Hopefully, if you're telling me, get your mind on, off, you know, whatever you're dealing with. If you're at home like I am. Pretty much got stocked up. Uh, I can't complain. But, um, let's get into this uh, showcase. Like I said, it's a Corvette showcase. So we're spotlighting Corvettes, which, which were, uh, of course, the first Corvettes were uh, built in 1953. Of course, division of GM Motors, which is Chevrolet. Basically, I I think what they were trying to do was to be like the European sports cars of the time. I don't think more so like Ferrari or Porsche. Well, Ferrari was Ferrari and Alfa Romero were top dogs back then, and um. I don't even think Mercedes. They were, but they were known for luxury cars. But Jaguar was pretty much too. But um, they wanted to bring that European sports car type uh, aesthetic to a American made car. There have been rivals. I think Ford tried to put out, they put out the Thunderbird in 19, I want to say 54. I don't think it's 53. I think Vet beat him to the punch on that. And Dodge, they tried for many years to do a two-seater car, but for some reason they, they put it off. Until they did the Viper in like 1989, I think. So, and the Ford Thunderbird, they resorted. I think they only made like the two seater format car to about 19, I want to say 50, 57 or 58. Then they stopped making them. And they started making the four, not, well, it, was, it could seat four adults. It was still two doors. But, um, yeah. This is 1953 model. And this is, actually, this is a 1957 model. But it's, it's the 1953 body design. They kept this body design from 1953 to 1957. And then you, later on, I, you, we, we will get into other body design, and I'll, you'll see the difference. Uh, this is called the Generation One, and this is a, a Matchbox Super Fast from 2004. As you can see, I've been picking with the doors, they being temperamental, but they open. Please excuse my callus. Yeah. As you 
can see it's a pretty cool paint job. A lot of detail. Really no color on the headlights and the tail lights. It would have been cool if they had some, but I guess they didn't feel like they needed to do it. Like I said, it's a dollar car. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> Next, we got this uh, this green and black 19. Uh, oh, not is 19. Uh, 2000. Green and black 2000 uh, Chevy uh, Corvette convertible. And this is from the Matchbox Adventure City series in 2013. It doesn't do anything special. I like the way the interior is, though. A lot of detail. Tan interior. Green and black. But it's cool. No headlights. No, you don't really need headlights because headlights pop up at this point. And no, really no indicators. Or no tail lights. But a lot of detail. Nice paint job. And next, we're going to get into the future, really. Literally. I'm jumping ahead a little bit. Uh, this 2009 uh, Chevy Corvette Stingray Concept in 2010. Mainline. I don't think it's factory fresh. I think it was mainline. Some reason I thought it was factory fresh. So you see, and that's 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 unique to the Stingray. I'm gonna talk about this car later on, but this is a '63, and I'm gonna talk about this car later on, and. It, in production years, this is the only year they had a split, the split uh, windshield. I mean, not windshield, back window. So, it's been copied by some other cars, but especially car customized. They tried to bring it back, but they decided not to do it. It was just for this concept car. And I think it was either at the, I think the Las Vegas car show. I don't think SEMA was Parkman yet. I think it's just the New York, wherever they do the New York, New Jersey. I think it's no Las Vegas, like I said. Las Vegas or either California. I think Las Vegas is where they do car shows since 2000, though, the big car shows. Now, this Camaro, this Corvette, I'm going to say Camaro, Chevy, but oh well. This 2014 uh, gray, almost silver, it's a metallic like paint. Corvette, this, this is a Corvette Stingray, but this is the convertible, and this is 2014, but it, it came out in uh, 2013, the HW Workshop, HW Garage series. I think what happened, they have a very good relationship with GM Hot Wheels does. So, back then, they let them get the jump on what they would get ready to do. The car was probably already out. You know, it's probably already out at car shows and stuff. They were showing it around. So, you can see it has taillights. You can even see the Corvette summer, which is the two flags. It's been changed over the years, but it's usually two flags. As you'll see it again on some of these other cars too. You should in more detail. It's got headlights. They did the grill. A little dusty. I need dust in there. Let me blow on it. So you can see the terrier a little better. 
the steering wheel, uh, console. They did good work on the seats, though. It's very detailed. You can even see where the gas, where, the, where you're supposed to push in. That, take this off and the gas nozzle on there. Not bad for a dollar car. Next, we got this uh, 2009 Corvette ZR1 with the Golf livery on it. And this is from the 2015 Hot Wheels City Performance Series. A lot of people have done the Golf. Yeah. And Hot Wheels has done it numerous times. Hey, she missed some little paint right there, but oh well. It's a little wear and tear. Rubbing on, but as you can see, she got the. They did try to do something to the indicators to to make it seem like they did something. You know, it's better than nothing. Uh, no tail lights. They these the side indicators, so they did something right there. There's some on the front too, so. It's pretty nice, man. The, the, the vinyl, the decal does it all. Sorry, my arm was in the way. As we make this transition, before we get to the premium, I'm gonna, gonna show some honorable mentions and I'm gonna talk about these cars I talked about before. Well, this one I'll get. Now, this is from, uh, Larry's Garage. Like I said, it's a 1963 Corvette from Larry's Garage. That's pre, this pre car culture, and it was 2009. As you can see, I did detail on the hood and Mike's wheels. Side you got details right here. You got tail light, some indication. I don't think that's tampos. I think it just simulated by putting them holes in there. Man, this is this is metal. Metal base. Solid car. Nice wheels. You get the interior. Mm. For a dollar car, I think I think I may have paid a dollar fifty. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I know it wasn't as much as I paid for car culture now. It was probably like a dollar fifty. No, it was under two dollars. So Moving on, we got the Martin Car Culture car. This car is from um, Open Circuit on two years ago. And this is the yellow 69 Copo. Excuse my hand is on way. 69 yellow Copo uh, Corvette. That's what they did the best job at it on the back. And this is the same uh same mode they use for the uh casting they use for the uh Corvette racer, the sixty nine Corvette racer. They just call it Corvette Racer. It's the same mode. 
Only thing they changed was this. They made it hard talk. It's usually like, like just bars right here. Top. And it's open right there. A lot of decals on here. The wheels is the best part in good years. Next, we're going to get into these premiums. And we're going to start with this 19, yes, 1960. Johnny Lightning in 1960. I'm not sure. Well, you like you should have uh, looked at all that before you video, but there's definitely this body style is definitely 1958, and I messed it up because I had I had the uh, hood open. There it is. As you can see, the hood opens. There's a Johnny Lightning. Interior is nice. As you can see. I forgot when this car actually came out. Now you can't even actually see the date up there. I think this car is like close to being like five years old. There it is. It's a 1958. Not getting the date. I think it's 2000. I think it's too, like, like I said, five years ago. So that's like 2020 now. So it's like 2015. Cool, cool. Okay, this next one. is a green light. Now this is a 67 Corvette. And this is from 2007. As you can see, it has, I bought it recently. I bought it from Amazon. Like this one, bought it from Amazon. And somebody had it in their stock. It was unopened, it was still on card. So I paid whatever for it. I don't think it was under $10, to be honest, though. But it's a 1967. As you can see, a lot of detail, engine detail, tail lights. Yeah. Now this is generation two. This is part of generation one too. This is like generation one point 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 uh five or whatever. Point point two. Next we get into this Corvette, which is I guess getting into the third generation. And this would be this is a green light. This is a 68, but the other one's a 67. And this pretty much came out, I think, 2018, if I'm correct. Not saying uh, oh, this two thousand nine. Saying two thousand nine. Oh, 
That was 2018. That might have been when the thing was done. As you can see, it's pretty detailed. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Next, we're going to get into uh, this uh, Johnny, another Johnny Lightning. This is from 1999, but it's a 2000 Corvette. engine opens but it's kind of tricky so you can see the detail there interior looks nice it's black on black tail lights are excellent look at that you, you can even see corvette you, know, you see pipes and by that sound you can tell that that's sound like diecast to me um, indicators are done Nice wheels. They even got the lights by the Nixon plate. And you know it doesn't have nothing on the license plate, but I guess it just came off the deal a lot. And last but not least for the premium, we're going to get into this, uh, this green light that I recently got. This is a... a I think this is a Z06. It's saying the casting's from 2006. But this is a 2000... A 2010... Oh, sorry. 2013 Chevy Corvette Z06. Yeah. And I think I got this one this year. So, it's not a 2020, it's a 2019, actually. It's a special uh, edition. I think it's an anniversary. 2019, maybe 2018, I'm not sure. You see the detail, you see the tail lights, you see the indicators, you see the wheels, you see the engine block. They did it right, it's supposed to say Corvette up there, but I can't, can't focus that. It says something up there, it looked like it does say Corvette on, on the engine, on the headers or whatever indicators and it has side mirrors if you notice now a lot of cars they do don't do side mirrors all the time so indicators is wicked i like the way they did them nice tail lights ironic because the corvette is about to change in most companies, I know Hot Wheels announced it. I don't know if Greenlight or John and Lightning is going to do it. Probably so. And the new Corvettes are having engines back here like Ferraris. I think, did, did Viper do that too? I'm not sure. Viper or GT. The new Ford GT did it too. So Everybody wants to be like the Italians and the British and, you know, European sports cars. So, that's what's going on. What are we looking at now? Okay, let's look at this road runner that was from the last video. This is a green light. From the JL Muscle Series. As you can see. 69 or 68 road runner. 68. It's not saying. 60, 68 road runner. Nice engine. Nice headlights. Nice tail lights. Nice wheels. Nice interior. It's got the bench seat. 
which is authentic. And this one right here, this is the Studebaker, 1953. And I do not think this, this opens. I was hoping it opened, but it didn't. I don't open. So. But the interior is great. The wheels are excellent. Tail lights are good. This is a green light. It's pretty good. Pretty nice paint job. Solid. This is that. Uh, that's no caps. It's a Chevy delivery. Hang in, hang. Oh no. Tail lights. Wheels are cool. is not metal though. You know what? Uh, I just got it because it was dead, to be honest. And these are the Fast Tunes Hot Wheels Premium. They did the tail lights, the license plate, the wheels nice, indicators are done. I mean, what, what more do you want? I think they charge like two dollars for that car. This is why everybody going gaga over the Honda Civic tail lights, headlights, nice wheels. Even though I always with these black me, I, I would put a chrome lip around it to break it up, make it stand out. But I, I don't think it, I don't know if that's authentic to the way the car was. I seriously don't remember Hector's, it's supposed to be Hector's, I think Hector or either his crew's hatchbacks from the first movie having blacked out rims. Because I don't think that was the trend back then. I think they were chrome. And if they were blacked out, they had a lip on them. Other than that, that's it, man. I don't want this video to be 30 minutes, but, uh, that's what we rolling with, man. Showing a little love to the diecast. Even in uh, an uncertain time right now. We going through we all going through a little something. But um uh, you know, it's not like we never went through things before. So all I can say is keep your head up and uh, take care of yourself and your family. Until next time, this is Big Dappuccino signing out. This is a Corvette showcase. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get back to you with show and tell number 62. Until then, peace.